Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie. I've sold over half a million dollars on Etsy using print on demand. And my channel is all about teaching you how to do the same thing. If you don't know what print on demand is, I do have some other videos I'll link below teaching you the basics. But today's video I wanted to make because I did a community post asking all of my subscribers what videos they are looking for right now the most. And one of the most requested video types was how to do niche research. So that's what I'll show you in this video today. If you're looking to make Etsy your full-time job and you really want to take this seriously, then consider subscribing because I'll be making a lot more videos like this in the future as well. One of the best ways to make sure that you're successful on Etsy is by choosing niches to design for that have already been successful for other people. I personally recommend having a general store Etsy as opposed to a niche store on Etsy. A niche store is when you sell only one type of niche. So say maybe you only sell dog shirts, whereas a general store is more like a Walmart instead of like a Petco and you have lots of different niches for sale. The reason I recommend this is because Etsy is a search engine based website. So most people, when they come to Etsy, they go up to the search bar and they already have something in mind that they want to shop for. And they type in that keyword that they're looking for, like Mother's Day shirts and they find a list of all of the different available options. They search through those, compare you to all the other sellers that they see, and then they actually buy a shirt right then and there without ever clicking on anyone's individual shop. So Etsy is a great sandbox to try lots of different niches to see which ones you like designing for and are the most profitable for you. And once you find something that's profitable, then you put that on lots of different colors. You add that design to mugs and tote bags and sweatshirts and hoodies. And then you make different versions of that design and you really capitalize on those best selling keywords that you've found. Once you find a particular niche that you sell tons and tons in and you do really well with, that's a great time to consider opening your own website since you already have proven designs that work, you have a proven market that you know people are buying in, and you really understand that particular customer. But until then, let's show you how you can find lots of different niches to try out until you find what's successful for you. If you've been watching my YouTube shorts of my niche idea of the day videos, you might be wondering how I'm finding those every single day, a new random niche to design in. And I'm gonna show you the software I've been using. It's called Everbee. So this is a niche research tool for Etsy, and I'll show you how to use it. You can do all your research without Everbee. It just makes it a little bit quicker. So I'll just show you how it works. I do have a link in the description below if you're interested in checking out Everbee as well. It is an affiliate link, so it will support my channel if you do use that link, but you definitely don't have to. Everbee is a Chrome extension, so it's really easy to use. It's always right over here on the left side of your screen, ready to be opened whenever you're doing your research. It only takes about two minutes to sign up. You'd go to Everbee's website. Again, there's a link in the description. Sign up for a free account then you just download the Chrome extension onto your computer and you can just pin it up here in the corner. And then you just come to Etsy, click login and actually sync it to your Etsy account and then you're ready to go. One of the best ways to find niches that are already selling is to see what your competitors are selling. The first example I'm gonna show you is if you're looking for a larger category like Father's Day shirts and you want to find some smaller sub niches to sell in. So you'd come to Etsy and type in something like Father's Day shirts. And then you can actually just click the analytics tool right here on Everbee and it's going to sort all of the results for Father's Day shirts for you. I like to sort them by estimated total sales for niches like this because Father's Day shirts, gifts for dad can sell all year round. So I just wanna see the ones that have sold the best ever. These are estimated sales depending on how many reviews and favorites these shirts have gotten, but typically it is very accurate. So then you would just go through and look through the results to find those subcategories within the Father's Day niche. 
So this first one, for instance, is a father and son matching dinosaur shirt. So definitely father and son matching shirts could be a good niche to design for. This next one, I keep all my dad jokes in a database, very funny. Funny dad shirts really do always sell well. You definitely wanna make sure that you check for any trademarks, of course. And then when you do click on it, it does show you all of the tags that they're using. You can copy all of them to your clipboard or just by clicking each one, you can copy an individual tag and then paste that into your notes app. That way you can slowly grab good tags to use as you're looking through all of the listings. And it does show you how old the listing is and you can see the title. So really get a lot of good information there. So maybe if this isn't trademarked, you'd make I keep all my dad jokes in a database shirt. It's not a dad bod, it's a father figure. That's a really funny one. Let's see, world's best farter. I mean father, that's pretty funny. Uh, let's see this one here i'll be in the garage that's pretty silly and they've sold probably around 700 of those so that's pretty crazy so you can really just keep going through this list and find different sub niches or different terms to put on your shirt and again you never want to copy someone else's design entirely you want to make it your own even if you have it say the exact same thing but one way that I really recommend is you can copy what SEO these top sellers have made and used, and then use that SEO in all of your Father's Day type shirts. And then you can kind of customize little bits of it depending on the actual sub niche that you're using. If you don't already have a larger niche in mind to design for, and you're just looking for new niches to try, then you can go to clothing and shoes, tops and tees, and just click t-shirts to get a random selection. Then you can sort by most recent to see what is currently the most recent sales in this category or what has most recently been listed. So then you're gonna to wanna to go through the search results and find a seller that has a lot of reviews. So this one here has 22,000 reviews. So let's go ahead and click on this one. This shirt has 139 reviews. So maybe bike shirts, bicycle gifts, Father Day gift, bike gift for husband. So biking shirts could be one niche. But then what you wanna do is actually click on that person's shop by clicking the name of their store. And let's see what other niches they might be selling in to get ideas. So you're gonna go over to Everbee and click that same analytics button, and this is going to sort their listings so you can see what they've actually sold. I like to sort it by the estimated total sales again, because we just wanna see what niches that they're in and we'll let this load. Again, you never want to copy someone. You can do the same sayings as long as they're not trademarked, but you wanna try and do it completely different. Get your inspiration for a design from somewhere else because we don't want to steal someone else's sales by copying them and get in trouble with Etsy. So now that we have this sorted here, looks like they've sold an estimated amount of 4,700 best anti-ever shirts. So again, always make sure to check for trademarks. So gifts for ants could be a really great niche to try and design for. I heart my awesome husband. You could look at some of this SEO and see maybe other ideas to design for, like maybe I heart my awesome wife or gift for wife. That could be um, a good niche to try. This one is funny shirts. My favorite daughter gave me this shirt. So gifts specifically from the daughter to the dad, that could be a niche that you can try. And again, you can see all 13 tags and you can go ahead and just click copied if you do wanna use those tags or copy all to a clipboard and track these for when you're ready to make designs. So really you just continue that, go through someone's top sellers and see what niches they might be selling in. And then you can go try this for other shops as well. Now, if you don't use be or if you run out of them what you can do as well is you can do this manually so since this person has it on sale you can't see how many people have it in a cart but a good way to see what they've sold is to sort their reviews by newest and you can just sort through them and see which ones and then if you think it could be a good seller you can click on it and actually see that this one is a bestseller and this one has 1188 reviews 
So then you can just keep going through their reviews like that to see what they might be selling in different niches. Hopefully you found these ideas of ways to find new niches and sub niches to design for helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below. I am answering all of the questions in my comments still, and I do have my shop reviews and my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls available in the description if you're interested. But thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you've not already, and we'll see you in the next one.